Hello ladies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Olivia and for today's wrap I will be using the new Chocolate Dreams kit from Rapunzel and combining it with this really really pretty burnt orange New York Brights. Now before I get started I've got to tell you um, I'm a wee bit behind on my tutorials. I've had a, a long weekend and you know I filmed a tutorial that I had ready to to edit. Hi, my neighbors. Um, I had it all ready. I was editing it. And then I realized I had wrapped the wrong wrap. So I have, I got frustrated and I just said, I need a break. So I took the weekend off, but I will be posting every day this week and hopefully fingers crossed, we'll catch up on all the tutorials that I've been meaning to film. Now, before I <laughs> before I go any further with that, I apologize. My, I have my windows open and my neighbors are really excited to see one another. It's been a long time since we've been able to be social. So you're going to hear them. I'm, I apologize ahead of time, but I've been trying really hard to film all day. And so, <laughs> okay, now that I've said all of that, this is the wrap style. Um, the kit came with this headband, a brown, it's, um, oh my goodness, I'm losing my mind. Um, this brown scarf and the shimmery. I will remember what the other one is called as we move along. But I'm going to take this off. It's a chiffon scarf, that's what it is. <laughs> So I'm going to take off all of this, being careful not to catch any of the scarves in the jewels on the headband. Okay. Now this one. There we go. Okay. I really liked this burnt orange. I'm not really an orange person, but this one, I truly loved the color. It's not quite orange. It's not quite brown. It's not quite rust. It's just a really, it's a really interesting color. Okay. So I have on my, oh my goodness, my cloud nine. I would be wearing my Wendy in the blonde color, but Manic and Me is currently wearing my blonde Wendy and my white Wendy needs washing. So I have on the cloud nine. I do think that um, this style definitely, definitely needs a shaper. Um, it's not one of the ones that we can go and wear with no shaper. Now, I don't think you need a super ginormous shaper like our friend the Uber, which is was at my feet I think I knocked him by accident across the floor so he's over there but it, I don't think you need the super huge but a shaper definitely okay now wiggle this a little bit it's been on for a while and when I tied it I tied it a bit tight and my ears are not happy with me okay now I'm gonna take the chiffon Um, and when I place it on my head, I want it at an angle with one, one longer and then one shorter tail. I've taken the, the headband and put it on around my neck. It makes it much easier to bring up and put on my head if it's around my neck. So, okay. Now this this tail length will vary depending on how long you want your tail. If you want it longer, it's you can just make it so that it ties a little bit longer. Now, this would be perfect if I had a brown shaper because it wouldn't show as much. I wouldn't have to be as obsessive with getting the front correct. Now, let's see. This is a little shorter, so if you like your tails, uh, your tails, your, yes, yeah, so your tails a little shorter on this side. 
this would be perfect. I had it a wee bit longer when I tied it earlier. So I'm just going to go back to having it a wee bit, a wee bit longer. Okay. And I'm just giving it a tie. Now when I tie it, I want to make sure that the short end comes out on the bottom. Say so shorter end comes out on the bottom. See, I like this tail for today. I don't have a lot of, a lot of cleaning or a lot of any of, you know, chores to do. This is just one of those fancy schmancy, I went to the farm kind of wraps. Okay, so I have the chiffon. And then to have something different on this side, I decided I was going to go with the burnt orange. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing as far as tying the tail. I want the tail to be a little bit shorter than this one, but it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to be an exact length. If you wanted it shorter, you could make it shorter. If you wanted it longer, you could make it longer. So I'm tying it on at an angle opposite of, of the first scarf, but I want I want the long, both longs on the same side to end up on the same side, both shorts to end up on the same side. When I first tied this, I did not tie a knot in the back with this scarf. I ran it through the, the knot in the other scarf. I'm going to do it here again, just be, for continuity, but I think, I think probably a knot would be best. That way this scarf doesn't move as much. Let's see. I'm reaching up through. I'll turn around and see if I can get this on camera. But I'm reaching up through and I'm going to grab. Where did she go? Okay. So this is the long one. Where's the short one? Here, okay, here we go. Got a little, a little lost. Reaching up through, I'm going to grab this tail and pull it down through, just like that. Tighten up the chiffon just a little bit. And that's where earlier I squished my ears too much. So I, I, did, I didn't want to do that again, but as you can see, we have the brown and the orange. Now I'm gonna come back the same as the brown with the shimmery. Okay. Again, short side, long side. Just like so. And I'm going to go under. And this and this one I think ends up coming coming out a little bit longer. Yeah, it's too long. A little bit longer is okay for me, but not that much longer. Okay. Underneath. Okay, just like so. Now I'm going to, I am going to put a knot in this one and I'm stacking the knots so that it doesn't have so much of a pressure point. Ignore the tag, please. Okay, so here are my, my tails. These are gonna stay just as they are right here. Again, not typically um, I don't typically like this long, this long tail, this super long tail, but I don't really have anything to do, um, any manual labor or anything or no cooking salad for dinner. It's not going to get into any stock pots or frying pans. So this is fine for me. If you, 
if you want, don't like this super long tail, again, just shorten them up um, when you're tying. Okay, now what I'm going to do to make things a little bit easier, I'm twisting these tails just to keep everything in, in a, a neat pile, or not a pile, but to keep it safe from getting caught in the little jewels because I am now going to drop them through and bring up my headband. Now I like the headbands off center. I like them down one side like this. Having the headband straight across the top of my head is not is not the, the look for me. It could be for you, no judgments, but um, for me, I like the idea of the off center headband. Putting that there. Okay. All right, so I'm going to start bringing over. Now this is a modified Yael twist, I do believe. I'm just It's one of the wraps that I love the most. And it's very versatile. I just, just a few minor changes and it looks like a whole different wrap. So, okay. Now I'm bringing this up at an angle and towards the back. I'm gonna lift up that and place it. Now, when I bring it around, trying to keep it as flat as possible. This is the twist. It's the, it's a twist on the wrap. That's typically I would be twisting and then tucking, but the first one is just flat and brought around the back and tucked in. Okay. Just like so. Now I'm going to take this one. So we have here, I'm going to take this one and do the same. Make sure it's laying properly. I put the smooth side out. These shimmeries have two sides, the rougher side and then the smoother side. Now I just like the, the smoother side on this one. Okay. I'm going to bring it up and around and again, just keeping it very flat as flat as possible. You go back there. Okay. And then I'm bringing this up. And tucking in. Make sure I get all of these fringes tucked. I do so like these colors. Okay, that looks good. Now this is the fun part okay, because this is the detail. Okay, now when I'm bringing this up, I do wanna see the shimmery parts. So I'm bringing this back a little bit. Adjust this forward. Okay. All right, now, typically in, in the L wrap, we would twist a couple times, bring around and, and then tuck that away. But for this version, I'm opening it up, keeping it flat. I'm just twisting once just once like so. So it's almost, it's almost like a bow. So you have this big piece here, the one twist, and then this stays flat and it comes around like so and gets tucked in. Now, again, the next time I do this, I will definitely be using my Wendy I will have to take it off a mannequin me and 
because I think I need the extra bit in the back. Okay. And this is just a couple minutes of adjusting just to make sure everything is neat and, well, neat and tidy. Everything is, is neat and lays the way I want it. Okay, and nice, nice long tails. Okay, so I'm going to do a spin around so you can see the back. I'm hoping that it is, is nice and neat like it was before. So this is the, this is the back with the, with the stacked knots. I think, I think with the Wendy, doing this with the Wendy, it will give me a bit more space, just a bit more volume. Um, I think I might like that one better, but I like this a lot. I do like this a lot. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in the next one.